Dynamic Island, is it just good for playing ping pong? Let's find out. When you receive an incoming call on your iPhone 14 Pro, it's now displayed via the Dynamic Island. And after accepting a call, the duration of your call is continually displayed. If you now tap and hold on the Dynamic Island, it will return to the full caller display mode again. And if you now tap on the speaker icon, you can get the speaker mode option. Tapping on the Dynamic Island itself brings up the standard phone screen display. You can also end the call via the Dynamic Island by tapping and holding on the call duration display. You can also control your music with the Dynamic Island. So if you just tap and hold on the Dynamic Island there, you get this option screen and you can move forward on your music track or you can go to the next music track or go back. And you can also you tap on the AirPods icon there you get some more options where you can switch to playing it on your iPhone or even share the audio. And then just tap on the screen to get back to as it was. And then if you tap on here, it takes you back to the actual track with more options. And then you swipe back and you're back to the Dynamic Island as it is. So it's quite useful for playing music. Okay, let me show you how the Dynamic Island works with screen recording. And if you haven't used screen recording before, I have got a separate video showing you how to do that. So please check it out. So we go into control panel and we just trigger screen recording like that and you get a countdown timer on the dynamic island and then you get a red dot which indicates that the whole screen is being recorded and it will also record audio as well if you choose that option. So if we go back to the screen and now if I just tap and hold briefly on the dynamic island it shows the screen recording in progress and we can stop it at any time or we can just carry on doing some work on the on that iPhone and then if we tap and hold again it shows how much how much time we've been recording on the screen. So let's stop it and recording is saved to photos and then we can tap and hold to view or delete that from the dynamic island. But you have to tap and hold very quickly otherwise it goes back to the default dynamic island and you can no longer use it. So you can just go to your photos and uh, access it from there anyway. So you've got, you've got a choice really. Another useful feature of the Dynamic Island is the ability to multitask. For example, you can be playing music on your iPhone and at the same time have another function working like a countdown timer or even the screen recorder function. And the Dynamic Island will separate into two widgets so that you can control each of those features independently. So as you can see, the Dynamic Island can be quite interactive, but it also gives you indications of things such as your iPhone battery level, or your AirPods battery level, and uh, I'll show you some of these indicators now. You get an iPhone ring on or silent indicator, an iPhone battery level indicator when your iPhone Pro or Pro Max is charging, and a battery charge level indicator for your AirPods, which activates after placing your AirPods in your ears. And the iPhone Pro's Face ID animation has been incorporated into the Dynamic Island as well. And I've managed to find a game for the Dynamic Island. It's a simple game. It's ping pong. It's quite addictive. And I've managed to get to the next level, so it can't be bad. I just typed Dynamic Island in the App Store, and I'm sure there will be more games and apps to come. So watch this space. Well, I hope I've enlightened you a bit to Apple's new Dynamic Island feature for the iPhone 14 Pro. Do you think it's dynamic enough? Do you know any more features that I haven't mentioned? If you do, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please thumbs it up, subscribe and share. And thanks for watching.